Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the fifth part or the second part of centering names in a name tag. And if you didn't watch the first video, you might want to watch how I got these names in here. And I have found out through experience, you don't want to move them, you know, like over here, and, and then change the size, because it, it works on most cases, but sometimes it'll miss one of the names. So, to create the macro, and it's just like the other macro, go to Tools, Macro, and just while I'm here, if you've ever created a macro and it didn't work, and you want to delete it, just left click and delete it. Okay? So let's just delete this one, because we're going to make a new one. Alright, so I go to Macro again. Record macro and see now we can use that same name. So now it's recording the macro. So we want to take the names, and I don't think it matters in what order you take them. You just want to take them from this spot. Because I, I played around with this for a little bit this morning. If you move them around and then resize them, uh, if you do not do it like I showed in that first of this video, then it, it works 90%, but it doesn't work 100%. It would get you there, and then all you'd have to do is move a couple of names. And with the macro, I'm going to be able to zoom in here, and it doesn't really affect the macro, the recording it. And I don't really think it takes, you know, if you need to go get a drink of water, I don't think it's, it's not like a recording, it's just recording steps. Then we're going to lasso both that, both those, the box and the name, we're going to go CE, C puts it in the center, E puts it evenly, horizontally, but you need to do both of them, C and E, and watch the names jump up and get into the center. But you don't have to do this but one time. If, you know, you're doing this same size name tag over and over for a bunch of people or for the a customer. Um, and this, you could do this for, you know, hundreds and, you know, 50 name tags. And then you would only have to do this once. And the next time they order 50 more name tags, you'd be done. Okay, we've got our macro done. Go up to Tools, Macro, Stop Recording, Shift, Control, O. So now it's done. Go up to Tools. Let's get rid of the, the Micro Manager. Go up to Tools, Customize, Commands. I'm double-clicking everything. Go down to Macros. Your macros are, that you record are normally going to be on the bottom. And there it is right there. We're going to go to shortcut. We're going to give it a shortcut key. We're going to keep the same one, control alternate C. I'm going to assign it and hit OK. Now, let's erase these names. We'll just test it. So we're erasing these names. Now let's go back to the email the customer sent you. Copy. Go back to Corel. Paste. Now it's going to bring it up in paragraph text and it puts it in the center of the page. Then you kind of want to do this in this order. You want to convert it to artistic text. Then you want to change the point size. We're going to go 30. Then you want to hit Control K, and it's going to break them apart. Now our macro is ready to run. Control Alternate C. That's pretty slick. And if you had hundreds of these to do, then you might want to go to Print Merge and watch one of Roy Brewer's with engraving concept videos.
Um, and there's a lot of applications for that. I really hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.